Welcome to Reality Business Consulting's Be Real video tutorial series on how to manage your website with the WordPress Content Management System or WordPress CMS. The topic of this tutorial is WordPress CMS Basics Managing Content Pages Part 2. In Part 1 of the tutorial Managing Content Pages, we took a general tour of this page and the components of this page. In this tutorial, Part 2 of Managing Content Pages, we're going to dive into this deeper and actually add some content and see some of the features of this page. The first thing you want to do is you want to enter the title of the page. To do that, place your mouse over the box and left click and simply enter the title. To add content, place your mouse into the box, click it, and then start typing some content. For our sakes, I've just added some dummy content here. You can also stretch the editor so you can see more of the text if you like or less of it. At this point I want to caution you on one thing. If you are copying or cutting content from a Microsoft Word document, make sure you select this button here where it says paste from Word. What will happen is this screen will pop up and then you can actually paste the content into this box. What WordPress will do is it will strip all the unnecessary coding and uh, tags with your MS Word document and put it properly into the content editor. At this point you may want to actually format some of this content like bold, underline, that sort of thing. That's what these buttons above the editor are for. Another caution here. Sometimes you may not see all of them. Don't panic. This last button at the end where it says show hide kitchen sink will actually remove or display it again. So if you don't see it all there then just make sure you select that button. To use most of these tools or functions in the formatting section you usually have to just highlight the word or sentence or paragraph and select the formatting option that you would like. So in this case, if we just wanted to bold the first two words, we would highlight them and select bold. Another popular formatting tool is if you wanted to emphasize a paragraph or add a heading to a particular t paragraph, what you would do is separate the heading from the paragraph, highlight the heading, and use this feature here to select the size of heading you'd like. For those of you who use MS Word, you will pretty much be familiar with the formatting tools and functions on this toolbar. But I caution you again, WYSIWYG editors are limited, so just work with them carefully. And one of the other more common ones as well is creating a hyperlink to a, another website or perhaps another page within your own website. So again, what we'd want to do is highlight the word that we'd like to hyperlink and what you can do is look at the top of the formatting bar you have a chain link there if you select it another screen prompts you here's where you would add the website URL that you'd like to connect it to or hyperlink it to you would also have the option of opening the link in the same window or in a new window I would recommend that you open the link in a new window so as to keep your visitors on your website. Select insert and now this is hyperlinked to a particular website. You can also remove this hyperlink by highlighting it and selecting the remove or unlink button. The last caution I give you is at the top right corner of the editor where it says visual and HTML. If by chance you are on the HTML side don't be so concerned. You see all this different programming language. They're just HTML code. Just flip yourself back to the visual side and you can start working again and formatting in the editor. Now that we've added content and formatted some of the content on this page, we need to complete some of the parameters on this page before it goes live. Let's start at the bottom first. Under the discussions heading is the functionality of comments and trackbacks and pingbacks. Comments allows a visitor to your site, particularly to this page, to submit some of their comments regarding the content. Trackbacks and pingbacks are a way between websites to essentially communicate with one another. 
on this particular content. Because this is a static page and because it is strictly informational, we, we are going to disable this functionality because we don't want comments on this page or any trackbacks or pingbacks. The next is the layout options. Currently your design has a default layout option, but you can actually create a customized layout for this particular page if the content suggests that you, you may want that option. But at this point, let's leave it at the default. On the right, we have page attributes. Under page attributes, there are three options, parent, template, and order. We'll keep template to default and order to zero. We may or may not change the parent option. The parent option is a way to organize your pages, so you need to determine whether or not this page is associated with another page on your website. It's basically the parent child theme structure. To do this, you simply open the drop-down menu, and here you'll see a list of all the pages on your website, and select the page it is associated with. If it isn't associated with a page, then leave it at no parent. The last thing we need to do is publish this page, or make it live on the site. But before we publish this page and make it live, I like to actually view the page and see it before I do this. You can do this at any time throughout managing the content on any particular page. By doing this, you simply select the preview, right-click, open a new tab. Then you just select the tab and you see the page as it is. If you are okay with it, go back to the Edit Page tab and now determine when you want to publish this page. Toggling back and forth between the tab and the edit page is a good way just to see your changes on the fly. But always save your work. It's important you do that or you will not see them. Also, you will need to refresh this screen every time you make a change so that you can see the change implemented. When you go back to the edit page screen, we can now determine when we want to publish this page. We can determine when we want to publish this page at the current time or at a future date. We can also determine whether or not we want to make this page public, password protected, or private. And then above that is the status of the page, whether or not it's a draft or whether or not it's actually live and public. So now we're ready to publish this page. Let's select publish. And you notice the only thing that changes is this button that said publish before. Now it says update. From here on in, all you will have to do is select Update to save the changes on this page anytime you make a change. Let's go back to the Pages menu for one quick second. Not only does this page list all the pages on your website, but it also has some functionality. If you hover over the test title page we just created, you'll notice that you have the option of editing the page, which will take you back to the screen that we're already on a quick edit which will allow you to do things like change the title quickly to change the status of the page from publish to draft that sort of thing and you can actually delete it and view it you also notice that it'll identify the author of this page and any activity in terms of editing publishing drafting that sort of thing so there we have it in this tutorial we've learned how to add a new content page format the content in the content page, select the right parameters conditions of that page, and we've also learned to navigate the pages screen as well. And don't forget our three key rules for content management. First is to create the content. Second is to edit or format the content. And third is to place the content. We'll continue on this theme in the following tutorials. This concludes our Be Real video tutorial on Managing Content Pages Part 2 with your WordPress CMS. If you need more support on this topic, please visit the following website for more information. If you or someone you know is looking for a marketing and sales consultant, please visit our website or contact Reality Business Consulting. We can help your company or organization with website development, marketing and sales planning and implementation. Until the next tutorial, be real.